It was one of the last days of January, and we were walking in the woods, and we found this. And I wanted to leave it. I really did. I thought that there was something just wrong about taking it with us. But I just had to show it to you. I came to the conclusion that had it just let had it just been left there to the woods then nobody could really appreciate its beauty so I'll take a few macro shots of it and let you take a close-up look at this I'm located at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains which means that the late January weather is not traditionally friendly to well ferns so this bottle has served as a sort of greenhouse and it's preserved the contents of this bottle in fact it's been left on its own for who knows how long and it's functionally an entire ecosystem it's not closed, but neither is the earth entirely closed if you want to get technical about it. There is no such thing as a closed system. Well, what I mean is that just as the bottle end is open and gas and moisture can come and go as they please, the earth is similar insofar as that, well, it permits material to come from space via meteorite and land here. In fact, that just might be how life got here in the first place. It's hard to get him in focus, but there's an, a tiny inhabitant to our little world here. Do you see him? Here, I'll make him jiggle. Unfortunately for us, and all things that we know of, life is always, so far as we know, constrained to being stuck on board a life raft. So let it be a lesson to us that such vessels are fragile. And for that exact reason, I hope that just moving it out of where it belonged doesn't kill it. I hope you found this as interesting and as beautiful as I did.